Welcome to MindFusion.reporting for WinForms tutorial, how to create a basic report. The tutorial covers setting up the report, header, setting up a data range, footer, and running the report. We start by creating a new WinForms application. Then we add all MindFusion DLLS that were installed with the component. We will use the Northwind sample database for this project. Here we select only the products table. Let's move on to creating our first report. We right click on the project, add new item, and choose MindFusion.Report. A new class is created. This is the working area of our report designer. It is blank. We add a products table adapter. We move on to designing the report. Let's start with the header. We right click on the report surface and choose header. We start designing the header by adding a company logo. We drop an image element. We set its location and size in percents. We'll use percents for the size and location of all report elements. That guarantees our report will look consistent with any page settings on the report viewer and on any device. We choose the image source for the picture element. We click on the image property in the property grid and add the logo as a new resource. Let's add some text to our header. We drag a label element and give it a name. We set its location and size in percents as mentioned earlier. We add one more label. Those two labels will correspond to the two database columns that we will use in our report. The size and location of the second label match those of the first, so the two labels stay on the same line and look identical. The first label is for the products. Its background is light gray. We set the same background to the second label. It is for quantity and stock. This is our header. We adjust its size and go on with the main part of the report. We add a new data range. Here we will design how a single report line will look and the data it will show. The data source for our data range is a Northwind data set that was created when we set the database connection. The data member is the product's data table. The data range will display all the records from our data table. We use the alternative background property to color alternating record lines in different color for easy reading of the report data. We adjust the location of the data range in percents. The same with its size. Now let's add the labels that will retrieve and display the database records. We give the first label a proper name. Let's bind this label to the product name column of the product database. We use the data field property. We adjust its size and location in percent. It's time to add the second label. We give it a name. We adjust its size and location to match those of the previous label. So far we are ready with our report. 
Only the footer remains. We right click on the report area and choose footer. Let's add a label that will show the current page and the total number of pages. We name our label. We set its size and location relative to those of the footer. It's time to add the text. We click the text property and the property grid and a dialog opens. There we write the text page and use the page current and pages count functions to retrieve the required footer data in real time. We place the functions in square brackets. Now that we are done with the report, we'll have to fill the data. We use the constructor to fill the table adapter. The report is ready. We build a project and the report class appears in the toolbox. We go to the form and add the report one class. An instance of our report is created. Next, we add a report viewer. It's important that we run the report. We assign the report to the report viewer through the report property. Time to see the result. We build and run the application. Everything is in place. The sample can be downloaded from http semicolon backslash backslash mindfusion.eu backslash samples backslash basic report windforms.zip. Find out more about Mindfusion reporting for windforms at http semicolon backslash backslash mindfusion.eu backslash reporting.html. Thank you for watching.